and welcome to our Wednesday devotion. We are all about a year into this COVID experience. It was just a little over a year ago that the United States diagnosed its first citizen with COVID. And in just a few weeks, we will be experiencing the one year anniversary of when California went into our initial lockdown. At the beginning of that quarantine experience, we all assumed it would be rather short. At one point, we were even thinking that it was just going to be two weeks. We said two weeks, two weeks to stomp out the virus. And then we thought, okay, well, maybe it needs to be a little bit longer. Maybe it'll be a month or maybe two months. But we all assumed it would be short. And when we thought that quarantine and stay at home orders and sheltering in our homes was going to be a shorter experience, many people came up with quarantine resolutions. People wanted to use this time at home productively. They wanted to use this time at home in such a way that they would emerge on the other side of quarantine as a better version of themselves. People thought they could eat healthier, exercise more, maybe even learn a new language, learn an instrument, develop a skill, do something so that their future self that was leaving quarantine would be better than the person that began quarantine. And yet the days and weeks and months of staying at home seemed to drag on. And at a certain point, we stopped being so concerned with eating healthier and started ordering a lot of Postmates, a lot of pizza and tacos and comfort food. And instead of focusing on how many miles we could run, we started focusing on how many Netflix episodes we could binge before we got that dreaded little message that asked us if we were still watching. Yes, Netflix, we were all still watching. And then we emerge on the other side and we look at the goals for, that we had for ourselves and we feel disappointed. We compare ourselves to who we were at the beginning of quarantine, who we thought we would be at the end, and we become disappointed. And yet quarantine is not the only time we experience this special type of disappointment. We usually experience it every year, come this time in January. Towards the end of January is when we realize that we most likely gave up on our New Year's resolutions. I know I, for one, have given up even setting a New Year's resolution because it takes me probably about a good seven to 14 days before I completely forget about my New Year's resolution and then I become disappointed. Disappointed in myself, disappointed that I did not achieve this goal I set for myself. But this type of disappointment is not exclusive to resolutions. We tend to do this in many aspects of our lives. We tend to look at who we are currently, set a goal for ourselves in the future, and think, if only I can achieve this goal, then I'll be worthy. Then I'll be good enough. We do this in our workplace. If only I can be this type of worker, if only I worked these extra hours, if only I did these extra things, then I would be worthy. Then I would be worthy of that promotion. Then I would be worthy of that extra responsibility I want to take on in my workplace. We do this in our relationships. If only I was this type of friend, this type of sister, this type of daughter, this type of spouse, if only I could achieve these things, do these things, perfect these things, then that will make my relationship better. We even do this in our relationship with God. If only I was this type of Christian. If only I was the Christian that was at a soup kitchen every Saturday, then I would be worthy. If only I was the Christian that was able to set a goal for myself to read the Bible in a year and maybe even eclipse that goal and read the whole Bible in six months, then I would be worthy. 
then I would be worthy as a Christian. Then, maybe then, I would be worthy to have the kind of relationship with God that I want. We set these lofty goals for ourselves throughout every aspect of our life. We compare our current self with what we want our future self to look like. And quite often, we're disappointed. We're disappointed that we did not achieve that goal. If you have a Bible in front of you, I invite you to open up to the book of Colossians, chapter 2, beginning at verse 13. When you were dead in your sins and in the uncircumcision of your sinful nature, God made you alive with Christ. He forgave us all our sins, having canceled the written code with its regulations that was against us and that stood opposed to us, he took it away, nailing it to the cross. When Christ came to us, we were dead in our sins. That's the lowest of the low. That is beyond compare. When we look at this verse, we're reminded that as we sit and compare ourselves and wonder if we can just get to this goal, get to this level of worthiness, God looks at us and says, that's not how it works. It's not based on your goals or your resolutions or your actions. You are not worthy. We were dead in our sins. We were the lowest of the low when Christ came to us. It had nothing to do with us or with who we are or what we could do, but everything to do with Christ, who he is and what he has done for us. Keep looking at Colossians, but move over to chapter three, beginning at the first verse. Since then, you have been raised with Christ. Set your hearts on things above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Set your minds on things above, not on earthly things. For you died and your life is now hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, who is your life, appears, then you also will appear with him in glory. Instead of looking at ourselves and comparing ourselves to who we used to be, who we are now, or even who we hope to be in the future, we can look at ourselves and see Christ. Through his death and resurrection and the gift of salvation that he has given us, we are hidden in him. We can look at ourselves and see the goodness of Christ. We can look at ourselves and see what he has done for us. Christ is beyond compare. The gifts that he's given us, those are beyond compare. And because we are hidden in him, we now are beyond compare in Christ and in Christ alone. Resolutions are not a bad thing. They can be a very positive thing. It can be a very positive thing to set a goal for yourself, to lose weight, to exercise more, to learn a new instrument, to volunteer more, even to set a goal for yourself to read the Bible in a year. That's an amazing thing an amazing, positive thing. But none of those things make us worthy. None of those actions that we can do will make us worthy. Our worthiness is in Christ and in Christ alone. He is beyond comparison. And because we are in him, we are beyond comparison.
the grace and the love that we have in him, the salvation that we have in him. That is truly beyond compare. Thank you so much for joining us in these weekly devotions. We would love for you to join us in worship as well. We have an outdoor service every Sunday at 8.30 here in our parking lot. Everyone is wearing masks and properly distanced. We also offer an online live stream every Sunday at 10 a.m. on both our Facebook and our YouTube pages. And you can also watch past sermons, children's messages, and even past weekly devotions on our YouTube page at St. Paul's PB. Thank you so much for joining us, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.